Cooper, you still got the big load, I see, man. Damn. They ain't giving you any kind of break today, are they? Damn. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's the last day of the summer, well, unofficial summer at least, uh, Labor Day weekend. And it's kind of crazy because, you know, it's only the, what, the second or the third of, no, second, second of September. And it seems like we're usually another week, you know, down the road before we have the season starting. This is great because we actually have four games in September when we normally only have three. And I am ready that three days from now we'll have our first play, uh, excuse me, game of the season. Did I say playoffs? Don't, don't talk about playoffs. Um, but I'm excited. I am ready and I can't wait to get stuff going. There's questions and we're going to talk about this tonight on our live stream coming up at nine. Um, there's ESPN and Dan Orlowski said there were a lot of questions about the Dallas Cowboys. And it seems like a lot of people are worried about the Cowboys offensive line on whether or not with two potentially rookies starting, if it's going to be any good, if it's going to be able to protect Dak, um, and so on. And so there's a lot being made up by that. I don't think that we took a step back. I think we're going to have some growing pains as we go through here. But I got to tell you that I am, the more I see, the more I'm impressed, and the more I like what I see with Cooper BB. The thing that I'm going to say that I noticed about Cooper BB is he always has a smile. Coming off the practice field after you've been, you know, sweating and working your ass off and everything else, and he's literally carrying other players' smelly ass shoulder pads and helmets and stuff, and he still has a smile on his face. He still has a smile on his face. And so, looking at reasons why people smile, what does it mean if a person smiles a lot? There can be four possible reasons. You are generally happy, or you want to hide all your problems and your tensions under that smile. So which one is it with him? I think he's just high-spirited, happy-go-lucky, and unworried. I, I'm going to take it that those are probably the ones. Because here's an interview that the Dallas Cowboys just relieved uh, about him. And just listening to him, you got to think, you know, here it is. I am going to be the starting center as a rookie for the Dallas Cowboys. You, you would think that, you know, and, and maybe the butterflies will come on, on Sunday. I don't know. But right now, one, he looks so young. Two, he's still got that big smile. Listen to him. Um, I'm ready to go. You know, this has been my lifelong dream. And to know, you know, it's six days away, it's, it's kind of surreal. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just ready to go. Um, I don't know. There's so much excitement around it, and I just can't wait for this weekend. How much did you have to get with Dak about the declaration and those kinds of things? Because he's seen a lot of different things defensively, and that he just come in. Um, yeah, we definitely get get together a lot, um, but you know, I think he has a lot of trust in me, just you know, knowing the offense. And you know, the good thing is, you know, he's my ultimate corrector. You know, if he, he sees something different than I do, he can always correct me. And you know, that's one of the things that gives me confidence. I can go up there, you know, give a point, and I know I have a, a, a check and balance to, you know, get us right. This just remind you of when you got your first start in college, where you go, oh, this is my first start, and do you get any parallels from that? Um, I think it was a little bit different just because my first start was COVID um, in college. Um, and obviously, you know, we're, we're at the biggest stage um, you can be. So, you know, it's definitely a little bit different. Still still the same excitement. You know, I'm just out here living my dream. You have a lot of smiles, so you're going to have a lot of family coming in. Yes, that, yeah, but having my parents will be there, my girlfriend will be there, you know, they're making the trip, you know, watch my first game. Can you talk about the challenge of the Browns having a great game as long for your first info game? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the Browns, you know, they got some big, strong dudes there. Obviously, you know, Miles Garrett's on their line. Um, they got some dudes, you know, and they're, they're a lot of veteran guys, so it's definitely going to be a challenge, and it's something I'm looking forward to. You know, I, I got to go out there and prove I belong, and, you know, what better team to do it than, than the Browns?
Mike McCarthy talked about how prepared you guys were as a rookie class coming in here for OTAs and mini camp. Do you guys kind of build off each other with that? And has Tyler kind of maybe helped motivate you guys and vice versa to really be prepared? And yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, just from the jump, you know, I was meeting uh, with our with our assistant O line um, coach, and you know, he he's been getting us right. Um, since since the jump and like you said you know us rookies getting together especially you know we have three o-line rookies and, and really just quizzing each other and making sure you know when we got there you know we were as ready as it can be because you know once you get when you first get here there's that big gap you got to breach um mm -hmm. and you know the the more time the more reps you get the slowly slowly close that in and we definitely lean on each other for sure how often were you and tyler maybe texting each other or you know checking each other quizzing each other you know in the times when you're not here as well oh all the time you know he asked me questions all the time um, you know, I ask him things, you know, because I, I want to know what everybody's doing. I want to know what they're thinking, especially at, at the center of the spot. The more, the more you know what, what your other guys are doing, the better. So I'm quizzing him about, you know, his technique, you know, what, where's his eyes at, what is he doing. So there's a lot of back and forth for sure. Cooper, where you are right now compared to when you were going into training camp, how much better could you say has been made over the course of the last six weeks or so? Um, I would say a ton. I think when I first got here, I was definitely super nervous, you know, hadn't really played the position. Um, you know, I think I was – really timid to, to, you know, not screw up. Um, and now I'm out there playing free. You know, I'm confident, you know, with my confident snaps, my ability, my understanding of the offense. So now I think the biggest thing for me, just the growth is just in the confidence, really. Well, switch happened for you when you felt like you said it I think once we got to training camp, um, you know, and I really felt comfortable, you know, hitting, going up against, you know, our, our great defense. And, you know, you kind of figure out, you know, okay, I belong with these guys. Um, and then we had the joint practice with the Rams, and that's where it kind of was like, you know what, I belong here, and I'm mm -hmm. going to go out and prove it. Yeah, that, that I belong kind of thing with the preseason games, did you ever allow yourself an opportunity to kind of look around and say, wow, I mean, and soak it in, and then this time, I mean, Cleveland, you talk about the dudes up there, but the dog pound and just the whole atmosphere. Yeah, no, I'm so excited. Um, you know, what What a great challenge it's going to be um, going in, you know, like you said, the dog pound, and they have a very experienced front. Dudes played a lot of ball. It's going to be a tough challenge, and, you know, I, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm really excited to go, you know, show what I can do. Cooper, do you feel like your personality and demeanor translates to the way that you play? Well, you, you seem like upbeat, very calm. Like, does that also translate to how you are on the field? Um, not necessarily. You know, when I get on the field, there's a, a switch that flips. You know, I'm, I'm all smiles here, but, you know, once you <laughs> hop on the field, you know, it's go time. I'm there to compete. I'm there to win. Um, so there's definitely a switch that flips once I hit the field. Are you trash talking? No, I'm not. I'm not a big trash talker. You know, <laughs> I don't want to be the guy that makes the defense mad, um, that goes makes them go a little bit harder. So I tried to stay kind of out of the way, you know, kind of do my thing and, and let my game talk. Um, I'd either say Texas or OU um, were probably the two biggest ones. Um, but, yeah, I know it's going to be, a, you know, at the dog pound, it's definitely going to be a loud environment, exciting environment. And, and really, you just got to embrace that. I mean, we're, I'm, you know, we're here playing big-time NFL football, and, you know, you got to enjoy every moment. How does that change your duty as a center being on the road in a loud environment if you're first game with the silent count or things like that? Yeah, I think for me, um, it's just really being loud and vocal. Obviously, you know, when you're at home, it's it's easy to hear the calls, but you know, challenge is going to be I got to make sure everybody's on the same page. Um, you know, that's being loud, that's being confident, and making sure I'm checking with my guys and know, to know what they're doing. And you know, like you said, with the silent count, it's just making sure we're all on the same page. You know, whether that's with you know my head bob being consistent and that kind of thing, just so you know we can play that much faster. How helpful mm -hmm. is it the guys you're checking with are Zach Martin and Tyler Smith? I mean, I couldn't ask for anybody better, honestly. Those two guys, you know, they're, they're, they're true professionals. And, you know, that's one of the nice things is, you know, if we get a weird look or something, you know, I can ask those dudes, like, hey, what do you think on the ID here? And, you know, there's been times, you know, Zach has corrected me, you know, Tyler's corrected me. So it's nice kind of having those, those checks there right next to me. Do your parents and your girlfriend know that their seats are probably going to stink? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, you know, they're, they're going to be, you know, top deck, probably against the wall. But, you know, they're just excited to be there, you know, excited to see, you know, me live out my dreams. Do they go, your parents go to every road game Yeah. college? Yep. What's the last game they wouldn't have gone to? Oh, probably would have been, had to be my true freshman year. Because even when, when we went to Mississippi State my true freshman year, I, I was lucky enough to travel. My parents still went. I told them I wasn't going to play. My dad didn't care. He drove all the way down there. He was filming me warm up. He was so excited. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they don't, they don't miss too many games. Your first game at this position, at this level, 
any apprehension at all since, or, or is it, or is it more? Well, I got to study more because this is the first time I played this position. And now it's going to be the ultimate level. Um, yeah, it's definitely for sure. You know, I got to make sure, especially at center, that you know I'm on my stuff. And you know, I've like I said, you know, I've had I have a lot of great help around me. That's you know, if I don't if I don't see something the right way, you know, I got dudes that can check me, and that that gives me the ultimate confidence. Um, and you know, I'm going to go out there and make sure I'm prepared because because really, uh, you know, I I know I can't let these dudes down and. You know, there's a lot of experience on our line, and you know I'm just going to go out there and not, not let those dudes down and give it everything I got. Yeah, just knock them down. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest thing, like especially early, was he was he just told me, man, you got to go out there, and be confident. You know your stuff. Just be confident, and he can always correct me. And, and that's something that's really, you know, I think calmed me down into position and gave me more confidence for sure. As he was talking it was kind of like this mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of a full circle moment because like Travis Frederick had been here for a while when he was in and, and Travis was helping him because he had more experience. And now he said it's just it's just yeah. first for a small time, you know. So. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. All right, appreciate it guys. That was great. And that was great. So we, we've got, um, you know, it, it smiles and everything right now. We don't know what the pressure is going to be like uh, come Sunday, um, having two rookies and things in there. Um, going into this game, the Cleveland Browns are a little bit nicked up. Um, Deshaun Watson had the shoulder injury and has had soreness in training camp. Um, their left tackle is not back, and they're basically taking um, a guy who tore up his ACL last year, week one, who hasn't played left tackle in um, 10 years will be going to play left tackle in his absence. So there's some places where, you know, the, the Cleveland Browns are, are nursing some wounds and things, and we'll see how all that works and so on. But it's a big game. Uh, you know, the Cowboys, I believe we lost uh, five games on the road last year. And if the Cowboys could find a way to sneak a victory in Cleveland, that could go a long way to really helping this team uh, do some do some things. Of course, you know, talking heads, everybody's taking Cleveland. You know, I'm a Dallas Cowboy homer. I'm going to be taking the Dallas Cowboys and the two points uh, with Bet US. Excuse me, two and a half points. I'll be taking those. And if you're interested in starting some Bet US, the link is in the description. I will see you guys tonight at 9 o'clock. Peace.